Hey guys, it's me again. <laughs> Last video I addressed my ex and her whole internet little squad that you know took shots at me. They said Abby made rice. Listen to sum up the last video. It was hilarious. I mean that is such an outlandish comment. To sum things up, man, Afro Gum had a bigger impact on my career. I mean, Jacob Sartorius had a bigger impact. So after my last video, man, I said what I had to say. I was gonna leave it at that. Just one video. I wasn't gonna address it anymore. And just because you guys don't have to know about our business. But then my ex comes out of nowhere with another video, my truth with love. Listen, there's something things up when we first broke up she went on like this podcast interview talking about the relationship then she did like this story rant for like five minutes just kind of talking down on me and now she has a whole 20 minute video on her youtube that's three i've only addressed it once so she's up three one we got some catching up to do so today's video is going to touch a little bit on the breakup but if you're too lazy to sit through the whole entire video listen up man i'm dropping a song and music video tomorrow i'm very excited can we get a round of applause listen up man the song is called my ex i know people are going to be speculating is this about abby is about your no, it's just about exes in general, right? But look guys, time to get serious. This is a breakup video, right? I've been going on this little rant on her Instagram story about me. It was a while ago and I haven't even seen it yet. I remember the day she dropped it. I was getting tweets like, Race Gump, how could you do this to her? I don't even know what I did. I really don't. We're gonna jump right into it. I don't know what I did wrong, guys. Honestly, don't even know what to say. Like, I, I just want to start, I just want to start crying, honestly. Like... Crying? Uh. <laughs> Alright, yo. First snap. Off the bat, I haven't seen my ex in a while, and she kind of fired me. Like, I miss her a little bit. Bro. Nah, I'm just kidding, bro. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. She wants to start crying. She's taking deep breaths. Did I actually do something wrong, or she's just being overly dramatic? Guys, we're going to find out. I wish that you guys could have just seen our relationship and seen what... Even till, still now, I've always stayed loyal to him. I've always spoken highly of him. Wait, always? All right, so while we were dating, she was loyal, never had any problem with that. But as soon as we stopped dating, like, I don't really think you're loyal, dude. Like, for instance, for an example, there's this dude named Bryce Hall. He just recently blew up on TikTok, so he's going crazy right now. But he made a video, like, roasting me, and then like, I didn't even reply. He tweeted at me. I didn't reply, and then he made a nut. So he made two vids on me and just been kind of coming at me. And I actually DM'd him. I was like, yo, chill. I, like, I got you. I'm going to react to those videos. I got you. He's probably my next video. Like, just wait your turn. Be patient. I got you but like he's like an active and public race gum hater talking down on me and you're hanging out with him doing tiktoks with him so it's like are you really loyal not really like you know that's all like i'm not mad about it. she can do whatever she want but like you're not loyal so stop trying to act all he made me feel constantly like he just made me he literally made like not only do i get that online but then somebody that i i just fell guys, in love I with didn't. i fell in love with him i never and, brought it up and while I, we were I dating i never brought it up i to, promise to make him happy and and to have him like he's just mad that i don't want to be with him anymore whoa what Wait a minute. I'm mad. Guys, so when the breakup happened, like, you know, if you guys been through a heartbreak or in a relationship, like, a breakups are hard, you know? But after I got past that, you know, it is what it is. And mad is not a thing I was. I was definitely not mad. I'm telling you guys now, so we broke up a couple months ago, but before that breakup, we broke up probably two or three times, and then she would, like, go and stay at her friend's house. Um, I don't think she broke up with me once, and every time she would, like, beg to get back, and then, like, the final time, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't her idea. It wasn't, like, a mutual idea. It wasn't, like, yeah, it was for the best. Like, I just needed to cut her off, like, and that's just fact, so... That last line just makes no sense, like, at all. So, where is this, where is this even headed? Like, what did I do? What our relationship was like and, like, how much love I gave this person and support I gave this person. I, I've never even been seen online with another guy before. That's cap. I, I, I cap. have, I fought for the relationship for so long and, and for him to just speak publicly that I didn't support him and that I was on his nuts? <laughs> that's what you have to say about- <laughs> Yo, hold up, hold up. So that's what she's mad about. That's what she's mad about. Oh, it makes sense. So I was live streaming and she's mad about this clip. Dumb it down. Like, I could do a 10 minute video to explain it, but like to dumb it down, she was on my nuts too much. Like, no cap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I thought it was the other way around at first. I thought she, you were on top of her. Never. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have said nuts, you know? I just wanted to make it quick and, you know, get to the point. Nuts is only one syllable. Possessive is like too many. Like, if I said, oh, she was too possessive or too clingy or I needed more space, like, 
I don't know, it's just saying too much. I just said nuts, got straight to the point, you guys understood what I meant. Uh, like, after everything that we've shared together, after everything we've been through together, after, like, that's what you have to say. Ah! Yo, I'm so hurt. <laughs> Yo, why is she crying, dude? Listen, man, listen up. This girl asked me, why did you guys break up? So I said, nuts. She didn't ask me, what's your favorite memory about her? Or what's the good things when y'all were... She, she didn't ask me that. So I'm not gonna just, like, say, oh, yeah, man, I loved her a lot. And, but, you know, things that, like, I just... She gave, she asked me something. I just said, oh, yeah, I just, you know, she was on my nuts. Like, that was it. I just went... Because she was just mad because that's the only thing I said about her. And she, like, made a whole video. And she said some nice things about me. And also some other not nice things. But I didn't even touch on the topic, and so I guess I was live streaming, and this was the only thing I said. This girl asked me, like, she didn't ask me, you know, name a good time, name your favorite trait about your girlfriend, or did you love her a lot? Like, she just asked me why y'all broke up. Like, my bad. You know, I'm, why are you crying? I've never even been seen online with another guy. <laughs> Here we go again with Meanwhile, that. he's on his private Instagram. Wait, what? with a stripper on his lap, slapping her ass and grabbing her ass. No, are you serious right now? What are you, she just blew my cover. Like, wait a minute, how, it's private for a reason. I didn't even accept her into my private. It's private, it's a private Instagram for a reason. I don't know how she even saw it. It's your fault for seeing. Like I have an Instagram at irresponsible and I accept like my hardcore fans and we have a pack to never snitch. But I guess someone showed her my- What the heck, dude? I'm done accepting you guys into that type of stuff, man. Like, we can never- Like, this is why we don't have nice stuff, man. Guys, I am so deeply sorry. I know you guys expect higher from me. You, you guys expect better from me. This is not what I want to show to my fans. And you- I'm so sorry. Like, I feel so bad. And it, it was private for a reason, all right? It was private for a reason. But back to her, I, she loves throwing this around. I'm confused. Are these guys girls or something? I've never even been seen online with another guy before. I've never even been seen online with another guy. Guys, please help me. Are these guys boys or girls? Because she claimed to never be seen with a guy ever or whatever. But like, I don't... Guys, look at this one. This one's my favorite one. Bro, this one caught me so off guard. I like had to go out and text her and just be like, why would you make that? Like, not on some like, I'm jealous, but on some like, why would you do that to like your brand and to like your image? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But I asked her... And she said it was like a TikTok trend and that everyone in her house was doing it. And then I was like, oh, okay, so that makes sense. Even if I had, I have the right to. I've been, we've been broken up for so long. So do I. I have the but right. But like you have the nerve to come at, like even, you can't even just speak highly of me. You can't even just speak about me with respect. Yo, this girl is crazy. She really crying on the gram because... I said nuts, bro, like, because I didn't speak with her respect. That's where it's all stemming from. And she also said she has the right to talk to, you know, guys and stuff, which is so true. And I also have the right to talk to girls. I think that's true also. But I'm not even calling her out because I'm like, oh, she doesn't have the right to. I'm, I'm calling her out because she's saying that she's never been seen. So, you know, I'm just... She's like contradicting her, like she's a hypocrite. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, one of Abby's good friend, Daisy, I don't know if you guys know her, but she like chimed in, you know, came in with the little tag team, rolled the clip. Abby posted on her story of Rice Gum saying that she was unsupportive their entire relationship, yet she is the most supportive friend I have ever had in my entire life. And I know for a fact she was like that with Brian as well. She knows for a fact, Brian, who is Brian? I'm Rice, wait a minute. Listen, I love how Daisy sits here and be like, oh, Abby's so supportive. Like they're like longtime friends. They just met, bro. Like it's been like, what, three months, four months? Like I'm not even exaggerating. Y'all just became friends. When I first met Abby, her best friend at the time was this girl named Katie. I filmed a video with her best friend. That's the title of the video. And they kissed on my bed, but that's for a different story. So Daisy, you can't even sit here and you know, y'all just met. Like you know nothing about the relationship. How could you even speak on it or even speak on me? Like. Why would I sit here and lie, you know, just just stay out of it. Like, your input was not, who even asked, bro? Not me, back to the rant. I guess I'm on a rant. I don't know, we I can guess tell. I do this now. <laughs> I don't know anymore, I... I don't, and we can tell that she's on a rant and, and she doesn't know. Even, I'm not even, uh, even after this, like, I, I do wish, wish him the best. I just have to accept that I'm not gonna get that 
the same respect. What is she? Um, what is she saying? I was like, what? maybe I'll regret this. I, I don't really know. I'm not really thinking. We so can tell you're not I'm just, thinking. I'm just acting off of emotion. We so, can tell. Um, we can tell. Yeah. Um. We can tell. All right, man. Yeah, I guess that's it, right? But yeah, that was basically it, man. I'm basically dropping a song tomorrow and a music video, so keep an eye out for that. Listen, I don't even want to add anything more to the fire. It's like, it's not the cleanest breakup. It's not even a messy breakup, but we just voicing our opinions, you know? But um, that's it, you know what I'm saying? I'm just reacting to what she's saying. I'm not adding anything more. Um, thank you so much if you made it to the end that means you guys enjoyed it So make sure you drop a like and I will be back soon. I think I'm gonna do like a weekly thing I've been on like a once a week thing. I don't know. You know, it's been pretty chill I'm gonna try again, you know next week. We're back at it. Um Yeah